Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when fingerprint reader is not working on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to check power management settings. Now for this, make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now over here, you will see biometric devices or you can even go to human interface devices and check if you find your fingerprint device over here. So in my case, I don't have biometric devices over here, but in your case, you will see biometric device like this. So if you see biometric devices, you can click on this down arrow, click on this arrow, and then under biometric devices, you will find your uh, fingerprint device over here. It might be good fix fingerprint, Lenovo fingerprint, or Synaptics fingerprint. So whichever fingerprint uh, driver you find over here, device you find over here, you have to make a right click on it. So I don't have it, but I will show you with different uh, entry, different uh, device. So, but you make sure that you, you find your fingerprint device under biometric or you have to expand human interface devices. So it may be under biometric or it may be under human interfaces, interface devices. Now, once you find the fingerprint device over here, you have to make a right click. So make a right click on fingerprint device and then click on properties and then go to the power management tab and then uncheck the box which says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power and then click on OK and then you can try to check. Now still you are facing the problem. The next step is to restart credential manager service. So to restart credential manager services, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services and find credential manager services. So here you can see credential manager, make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK and then try to check. Now still you're facing the problem. The next step is to disable or enable your fingerprint reader. Now to disable or enable your fingerprint reader, make a right click on fingerprint device. So again, expand biometric device or expand human interface devices. So open device manager and then expand biometric devices or you can expand human interface devices and find. So you might find again, you might find good X, maybe Lenovo fingerprint, maybe, maybe Synaptics. So whichever fingerprint device you find over here, you have to make a right click. And I'm showing you with different device. This is just an example. So make a right click on your fingerprint device and then select, make a right click and then click on disable device. Click on yes. And then again, make a right click on your fingerprint device and then click on enable device. This is just an example. I'm showing you with different device, but you do it with uh, your fingerprint device, which you find under biometric or human interface device. Now, next step is to roll back fingerprint sensor driver. Now to roll back fingerprint sensor driver, again, make a right click on fingerprint device under biometric devices, or maybe under human interface device. And once you make a right click, then you can select properties, go to the drivers tab. This is just an example. Now over here, if you see update driver, first of all, click on update driver and then check if that does not work. Click on roll back driver. So in my case, this option is grayed out. Please ignore this. In your case, if roll back driver is highlighted, click on roll back driver. And once the process is complete, restart your computer and then check your fingerprint. Now, the next step is to uninstall fingerprint driver uh, from device manager. So again, make a right click on the device manager, uh, start menu and then open device manager. And again, expand biometric device, expand biometric and find your fingerprint device. You can even expand human interface device. Once you find your fingerprint device, make a right click. This is just an example. I'm showing you with different uh, uh, device. So make a right click on fingerprint device and then click on uninstall device and then click on uninstall and you have to uninstall the fingerprint driver from the 
apps and features so open windows settings and then go to apps and under installed apps or apps and features in windows 10 find the fingerprint driver in the list now this is just an example i don't have it over here but if you find it just click on it and then click on uninstall so you will see uninstall option so uninstall your fingerprint uh, driver from the apps and features as well now once you uninstall it now after you uninstall it restart your computer now after the system restart go to your system manufacturer website so you have to download you have to install the fingerprint reader driver from your system manufacturer website so if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have dell computer go to dell if you have hp computer go to hp and uh, so go to your system manufacturer website i am showing for lenovo this is just an example so make sure that you select your go to lenovo website and then select your computer so you can select your computer over here and then select your series and then select your sub series and once you select your computer this is just an example you do it if you have the dell laptop go to dell website and do it find your computer once you select your computer now go for manual update select go to drivers and uh, drivers and software and then over here you can you find fingerprint reader driver so once you find fingerprint reader driver so if it may be Goodix, it may be Synaptics, Synaptics, it may be Lenovo fingerprint. So whichever fingerprint device uh, driver you have over here, you have to download it, click on download, and then install it. And then after the installation, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can try to check your fingerprint reader. Now the next step is to remove and recreate your win Windows Hello fingerprint. Now for this, open Windows settings, go to accounts, and then go to sign in option and then over here click on windows uh, fingerprint fingerprint recognition click on it now if uh, this is created in my case i have not set up you will see remove option remove it and then set up once again if that does not work then remove and recreate your windows hello pin so you can expand this windows hello pin and then you can if you if remove option is highlighted over here you can remove this and then click on setup you can uh, you can create pin once again and then you can try to set up your fingerprint reader now the next step is to update system bios so go to your system manufacturer website again go to system manufacturer website and then find the bios so find bios update and find the latest BIOS update. So whichever is the latest, you can download the latest BIOS version. Now, in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. And then you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, you can log into the computer and then try to check fingerprint reader. Now still you're facing the problem. The next step is to perform clean boot. For this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So click on, make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all then click on apply click on OK you will see a restart option restart your computer and then check your fingerprint next step is to run this SFC and DISM command so type in CMD in Windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key now once uh, this scan is complete run the second command so this scan will take some time and once that is complete you can copy the second command and paste it on the same window hit the enter key and once the scan for second uh, th once this scan is complete 100% complete restart your computer and after the system restart check your fingerprint now the last step is to create a new local account if nothing works you can create a new local account so 
open windows settings and then you can go to accounts and then you can click on other users and then you can click on add account and then now click on i don't have this person sign in information and then click on add a user without microsoft account and you can name it whatever you want and you want to create password so you can create password over here and then answer your secu security questions this is just an example you can select your security questions and answer your security questions now once this is done go to next click on next and once your new account is created click on the down arrow and then select change account type click on it and then select administrator and then click on ok now click on the start menu and then click on your profile icon over here and then click on the new account which you have created and then log in and then you can check the fingerprint reader now still you are facing the problem the last step is to reset your computer now before performing the reset before performing pc reset create a backup create a backup before the reset because this will result in data loss because you will lose all the data on the computer so once you perform reset so create a backup before reset now to create a backup you can go to settings and then go to windows update in, in Windows 10, you will have update and security. Then go to advanced options. And then here you can see recovery option. Click on recovery. And then click on reset PC. Now here are two options. Keep my files. When you select this option, it will remove application and settings, but it will keep your personal files. Now, if you select remove everything, it will remove all your personal files, apps and settings. So you have to set up your computer once again, and you will lose all the all the personal files, application and settings in, the, in this case the first one keep my files will remove application in settings but it will keep personal files so you can select the option which you want and then go for local reinstall and after reinstallation if this will reinstall windows on your computer and after the reinstallation you can set up your computer once again and then check the fingerprint reading reading uh, fingerprint reader and you can even try to set up your fingerprint once again so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the fingerprint reader working on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.